Dr. Hill, my friend from New Jersey, uh, outlined a very graphic situation in North Carolina. And in a minute, I want to give you an opportunity to respond to that because uh, the, the response on the record will be helpful to uh, uh, hundreds of people, but there are thousands of people uh, listening uh, on television. I think they need to know that, that uh, I, I think you're, you, what you're about to tell us is that it doesn't have to be that way. And, and uh, in your farms in Iowa, you have a solution there. But, but what we're talking about with regard to CERCLA and EPCRA is a reporting requirement, right? uh, and, and Congress uh, thought, we, we thought we had recognized that, that um, certain uh, farmers should be excluded from this reporting requirement, and the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit uh, disagreed with this exemption. The, the decision has now been stayed and uh, farmers really don't know where they are. I noticed that Mr. Skews, in his testimony, Secretary Skews said that uh, we need a legislative fix. And I think probably Dr. Hill and, and Mr. Duval, you, you agree with that. Mr. Skews said we cannot keep putting farmers on notice wondering when they'll be hit with legal liability for untimely or inaccurate reporting. So I think maybe we have a bipartisan uh, uh, support here and consensus that we need a legislative fix. I will tell the members of the panel that Senator Fisher and Senator Donnelly, a Republican and a Democrat, intend to, to introduce legislation this week, the Fair Agriculture Reporting Method Act, which would clarify this rule to exempt all animal feeding operations from circular reporting and small operations from EPCA reporting requirements. So if you could speak to that, Dr. Hill and Mr. Duval, but also go ahead and finish your thought, which might give some reassurance to our friends in Duplin County, North Carolina, that, that they don't have to experience what was described by my friend from New Jersey. Thank you. Well, first of all, I would say we would support that bill 100%. We need clarity. We, what, what producers fear now is that they're going to use inadequate tools to try to estimate these emissions, and then if they're wrong, they're going to get huge penalties. So that, that bill would be supported by us. I think um, S Senator Booker misrepresented the, the pork industry in North Carolina. I worked in North Carolina for five years. Uh, that's a gross misrepresentation of, of the farms in North Carolina. They do use different technology than we do in, in Iowa. Uh, they have a growing crop year round. We do not. So they can use spray fields to, to apply mainly dewater the lagoons. It's not raw manure that they're, they're putting on, on the uh, Bermuda grass. In Iowa, almost all of our manure today is incorporated at the four to six inch, number one, to prevent runoff, number two, to, to prevent smell. So we feel like we've, we've made tremendous progress in, in, the, in this uh, manure application. And there's new technology for uh, pit, ad pit additives, uh, polymers that reduce odor uh, dramatically that producers are using. That along with cover crops, we see a tremendous increase in cover crops in Iowa. So I think producers are trying to do everything they can to be good stewards. Mr. Duval, what would the Farm Bureau think about this legislation that I uh, described from Senator Donnelly and Senator Fisher. And, and do we agree that what we're talking about here is an unfortunate decision by the circuit court about a reporting requ requirement uh, on, on these small operations? We, we do agree with that, Senator, and we applaud the senators that, the, that are getting involved in trying to uh, fix uh, something that, that is wrong, that is wrong, and be very difficult. Uh, my neighbor to, to the, my left here is, uh, explained it very, very uh, eloquently. I mean, it would put our farmers at risk. You know, I have 400 mama cows that's got a calf by the side spread over 1,500 acres in Greensboro, Georgia. How in the world am I going to monitor that? How am I going to report that? And then I have four chicken houses. How am I going to report the emissions of those animals? It, it just puts us a big liability. It's no need in doing it, and it was not the intent of the Congress that we think it was. So we would agree with that and applaud it. Thank you very much, and thank you, Mr. Chairman.